I'm joined by our number 32 and the Supporters Player of the Month for September, Sean Shields. Sean, congratulations on winning the Player of the Month. Good September for you personally, a couple of goals, a couple of really good assists. How are you feeling about your football at the moment? I've really enjoyed it uh, ever since I've signed at the club. Um, had a really enjoyable pre-season. Felt like I hit the ground running and integrated well with the squad. Um, and on a personal note, I'd like to think I've taken that into the season um, and displayed what I can do. Um, after a really positive start from the team, we had a few disappointing results last month. Um, and the irony of it is, is that we started the month actually really well performance wise and should have picked up a f definitely five or six more points. I'd say over the course of the month, um, the opening games in particular, if I think back to Aldershot, Dawkins at home and Solihull away, um, we only managed to pick up one point from those three games and I think we deserved a lot more performance wise. And now going into the matches this month, we're definitely going to be looking to put more points on the board to accompany some good performances. For sure, you've really hit the ground running here at Barnet. What are your kind of personal uh, targets for this season? What do you really want to achieve within yourself? I think for any attacking player, you want to put numbers on the board, goals and assists. Um, I'm relatively pleased with how I've started um, and I'm looking to continue that. You know, um, over the years I've been known more for assists, but what's pleasing for me is I've, I've added some goals this season um, and that's something I'm definitely looking to continue. You and Nicky have obviously got a bit of a partnership going on uh, up front. What's it like playing just next to the big man? I think it stems from off the pitch, really. I've, um, I've sort of known a lot of people Nicky's grown up with, so I, in I integrated with him almost immediately and we became pretty close. Um, I get on well with him off the pitch and I think that plays a big role in how we link up on the pitch. Um, I've always seen that as, in as an important attribute in terms of if you get on well with your teammates you tend to leave that little bit more out there on the pitch and it goes a long way especially when you're playing in a front line together in terms of combining um, knowing where each other are and I think we've we've showed that already and hopefully there's more to come. Absolutely obviously we've got a tough game against Wrexham on Saturday how's the feeling amongst the camp? Listen, we're always confident, even last month when we hit a bit of a rough patch, you know, um, especially in the last two games, uh, the Dagenham game, and then obviously this month's opener against York, conceding 10 goals in two games, it is an ideal. And um, we pride ourselves on, or we prided ourselves on having a strong defence, which I think we showed early on in the season. We were very solid and, you know, listen, Defence starts from the front, so we defend as a team. When we let in goals, it's not just the back four's fault or the defensive-minded players. We all chip in as a unit. Going into the Wrexham game, we know how tough it's going to be. They're immensely talented up top and they've got a wealth of experience throughout their side. So it's going to be a tough, tough afternoon like any away game is in this league. And we're just looking to go into it to carry on from the win the other night and hopefully put some points on the board whether that be an important point away or maybe three for sure before I let you go we were talking about it yesterday you're number 32 for some people it may be a bit of an obscure choice it's not necessarily a traditional 9 10 yeah. 11 what's the what's the decision behind 32 um, it's it's sort of a case of um, one of my hobbies outside of football is basketball I'm really into the NBA and that's quite a prevalent number in the NBA. There's some stars over the years have worn that and I've always just liked the number. So that's why I've chosen it at a few clubs I've played for. John, I appreciate your time. Good luck tomorrow. Well, Cheers. Thank you.